Hello, fellow Americans. We are getting closer and closer to the 2016 presidential elections. Between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, this is possibly the most important presidential election in the history of the United States. We have been subjected to wars upon wars ever since 9-11. Wesley Clark said that the U.S. government had been issued orders from the neocons to destroy seven nations in five years. And surprise, surprise, Syria is on the list. And the person who supports the war on Syria and the murder of its president, Bashar Assad, is Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton and President Obama are even willing to use ISIS terrorists, cannibals, head choppers in their pursuit of murdering Bashar al-Assad, who was supported by the Russians. And not only does Hillary support the ISIS terrorists, at the same time, she is willing to start a no-fly zone, if elected, to protect the ISIS terrorists, which result in war with Russia, which could start, of course, World War III. Now, liberals, you have traditionally been for peace. You have been anti-war. So how have you been tricked into supporting a candidate who is pro-war? How could this happen to you? Let's look at the names of some neocons who supported all of these wars since 9-11 and also support your candidate, Hillary Rodham Clinton, who is under investigation from the FBI right now as we speak. One of Hillary's supporters, John McCain, Lindsey Graham, Colin Powell, George Bush Sr., Robert Kagan, Bush Deputy Secretary of State, Richard Armitage, Brent Scowcroft, Henry Paulson, Mark Salter, top advisor to McCain in 2008, Tim Miller, Jeb Bush's 2016 communications director, Paul Wolfowitz, Charles Koch of the Koch brothers, George Schultz, and Henry Kissinger. These are the neocons who support Hillary. They, like you, are with her. Ask yourself, why are you as a liberal, Democrat, anti-war, activist, voting for the same person that the neocon war criminals support? What is wrong with you? Think before you vote. A vote for Hillary is a vote for World War III. As it says in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20, wisdom calls aloud in the street. She raises her voice in the public squares. At the head of the noisy streets, she cries out. In the gateways of the city, she makes her speech. How long will you simple ones love your simple ways? How long will mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge? A vote for Hillary is a vote for World War III. Think, liberals, before it's too late.